Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Today we're going to be doing a water pump shaft removal and installation 93EX500 Ninja. This was courtesy of the previous owner. Broke the shaft. And we're going to be installing the new shaft and the water pump housing. And then we're going to do a sea foam. So this is the shaft. I'm gonna give it a shaft. It's to take it out, uh, spinning it clockwise. I'm sure that the oil is gonna start coming out, so I gotta get the other one ready to put it, be put in there. This is the new one, nice and shiny. And this is the old one. The previous owner, I think he tried to take the the impeller out, and he spin it the wrong way, and he broke the the pin. So I can see already that the oil started to drip out. So I gotta do this really, really quick. Oop. You're gonna have to get that little pin for the oil. You got extra oil, like a uh, like a half a half a quart. It's not gonna be much, so I'm just gonna put it real quick. Oh, there is a lot of oil in here. All right. So here we go. One, two, three. You gotta catch me. All right, that wasn't so bad. Yeah. You can tell it was demolished. I took the other piece that it was on here out of. The Impeller. So let me dry that up. I gotta tie that. Give it a little twist. It doesn't need to be tied too tight because that's the direction of the motor spinning. So it'll tie itself. And just like that. And that's it. That's all he needs. So now we move to put in this gasket that it was the issue last week. I got some silicone. Sweet. I don't know where I'm gonna put the ninja sticker. Hmm? The ninja stickers. You don't know where? Yeah, probably on the gas tank. I don't know. Or oh, right there. I saw a nice one. I think it must have been a 600. Now it's coming. It didn't look that big. The guy was driving behind me. Yeah, the newer 600s look really big, but the older ones don't look that big. Yeah, I think it's the older because it doesn't didn't look, it look a little tiny bigger than that. Gasket, the old broken down gasket. And this should be the new gasket. I haven't even opened I mean, the gaskets on that. Gaskets and a card. All right, so let's get this. Thing. 
walking in the road and riding because summer is winding down. Oh yeah. I need to put too much, just a teeny bit. I think the last one could have broke because of the screwdriver you put in to yeah. try to get it apart again. Yeah. Or maybe because it wasn't like straight or something, I don't know. <clears throat> no, I think, yeah, it was because I tried to push it back because it wasn't lining up. But now, I'm going to do something really smart. I'm going to get the screws. I'm gonna hold this in place with the screws. If after we're done, it still leaks from the bottom. I mean that that washer for the antifreeze drain is worn out. It's just a little washer. Gotta match it up. Cause it's gonna cost more to order one from online. There, probably go order it from the Kawasaki over here. It'll be cheaper. You can tell that the guy that had the motorcycle is tore that up. Trying to get it apart. So since we got a new gasket, I'm gonna take that one out. Throw it out. I'm gonna put some silicone on this one. Yeah, the guy, uh, when I went to get my motorcycle inspected, he, he right away he said that he smelled the gas. What happened was, when I put the new uh, tank uh, petcock, mm -hmm. the old hose, I tried to put a fuel filter in it, and it was too short. So I ended up having to uh, put a different hose in there that I had, and the hose was too big, so it was leaking fuel right from where the the hose connects to the carburetor it was like dripping oil, um, gas he smelled it he said the carburetor was leaking gas and i needed to get the carburetors rebuilt which i thought it was true because those carburetors were a mess since i got them when i got to my house i look at the hose and that's where the the leak was coming from from the hose so I went yesterday to the the advanced auto. Mm -hmm. Got a small hose, small diameter hose. Put it in there. That it was not that I had to force it in. That was the end of the leaking. Cool. And then adding that uh, that siphon to it, it totally it totally did the work of the bike idle. We got parts. We got parts. One was the longest one. The longest one. Where was going? This one was the dirtiest one. It was tough. 
Det är det vi ska ljusa med. Det är det to make sure that gasket is still in place. This impeller. The impeller goes this way. this way <clears throat> now get to put some silicone on this side not much because this side gets holding by the bolts anyway that house I was doing a party at last night. Mm -hmm. So nice. Really? They were the owners of Red Building Supply, like all of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was they were doing a fundraiser. Fundraiser? Yeah. They had seven central air units. Seven? Seven. Like all lined up next to each other. For full for, for their house for no, for their house. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought they were uh no. selling uh, donating them. The house was so nice. It was right on um, it's the other side of the highway. On uh, what's that road called? Riverside. Riverside. Yeah. Riverside Drive. Riverside Avenue, right close to the water. Nice. Yeah. All right. So this is on. Now we get to put this on. And I need some lubricant, so I think. to wet the seal because if it leaks from here then we have to replace that seal too. Hope it doesn't see it doesn't leak. As you can see this thing was shot. It looked like it had a hole there and he put a screw through it and silicone it and then paint it over. Just putting this in. Oh, it wasn't so hard at all. All right, let's put these bolts back and add some antifreeze to it. There's two shorts and one long one. Three shorts. They're all the same. Yeah. <laughs> now this is longer. This three are long. My eight millimeter is in that bag next to you. Yeah, that's, that's a wrench. Alright, this one goes up here. That I remember. The real rusted one. Everything is lined up. Yeah. Still sick? A little bit. Not like last week though, so I'm good.
so I went to order the, the tire. He told me my bike is gonna need the, the two front tires. I knew everything that he told me that I needed. I knew the bike was gonna need. I just thought that he was gonna inspect it because the owner uh, is my friend. Well, not kind of a friend. He buys a lot from my store and we joke around and shit. Mm -hmm. But it turns out that the guy just rent rent a space over there for the motorcycle inspections and occasional work on motorcycle there. So he did give me a good price for putting the, the front shock seals, changing the tire and the front brake, changing the real tire, the real brakes, putting the 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 chain new chain on because I gotta get a new chain. It's gonna be bad. The, the parts goes for me, so I have to get the parts. Hmm. And then to do just the carburetor work it was gonna be another two hundred, but the carburetors don't need to be rebuilt. It was just uh, the hose was leaking. So I already ordered the the front seals, the the brakes. They they sell the they set the rear and front brakes for twenty bucks. The seal nine bucks. Not bad. Front and rear tires is gonna be one hundred and fifty for both. I got them on my wish list on Amazon for next week. Then when I get everything together, I just give them a call and bring it. In the meantime, I just hope I don't get stuck. Yeah. Cups doesn't bother you unless you're doing something stupid. Yep, I know that because I drove that scooter every day. Mm -hmm. That uh, black one every day. Yeah. An inspection. What gets motorcycles stopped is speed, sipping through traffic. You know, when when you stop at a light, you can just filter through the traffic. You have to wait like every other car waits its turn. Yep. I think these guys comes, you know, they go through, sit through all the cars to go to the head of the light. That's a no no. You know, I've seen a lot of stupid shit. When I started riding, I always say I never seen a motorcycle getting stopped. But I have ever since seen motorcycle getting stopped. And now, after the last year, all those stupid assholes in the city, the gang up onto this guy and beat him up because he cut one of them off. Really? Yeah. There was a, a group of motorcycles in the city. We're going, we're dry, riding, and the guy cut them off. You know how, how sometimes people cut you off in yeah. a motorcycle? Yep. And there were like like 10 of them in a group and they follow the guy and they pass him and they block the, the way. And they all surround him and they started banging on the car and then the guy opened the door and they pulled him out and they beat him up from his wife and kids. Damn. So, when you're riding, you run in a group of two, three, it's fine. When you're wearing more than five, you gotta watch out. Because even if you don't do anything stupid, the guys next to you do, you're gonna be blamed for All right, time to fill it up. If you can pause it. Run it and test it. Water pump gasket and uh, mechanical seal all put together. No drip. That seal was shot, dude. The seal that was in there? Yeah. Yeah, it looks cool.